In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to turn any web page into a standalone Mac application. First thing you want to do, open your browser up and go to fluidapp.com. And for this tutorial, all we need is the free download. And we'll go ahead and save that to the desktop. And there it is. We'll uncompress that by double clicking it. And here you have your app. I'm going to go ahead and move this into the applications folder here. And then open it from there. Uh, get a warning that it was downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I am. Open it up. And here you have the fluid interface. It's very simple, very intuitive. And now, I'm going to turn my Facebook page into a standalone Mac application that I can open like any other application, just like I just opened Fluid, like I would open my mail, Pandora, anything like that, without having to open a browser first. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the address for the secure Facebook page. I'm going to name it Facebook. So my URL, the name of my new application, and you can either use the website Favicon. I actually downloaded a couple off the internet and I like the way this one looks so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and just click create. Success! It's created a Fluid app, Facebook. You can launch it now. Hit OK, reveal it in the finder. We're going to go ahead and launch it now. And here you have an app. It's not running in a browser. It's running by itself. And we'll go ahead and log in. And there you have it. Now it's nice because you can see I quit the app. And I can go ahead and just have it stay in my sidebar there and just reload it. And it'll load right back to where I was at every time and keep me signed in. So again, I quit the app and load it right from the sidebar. There it is. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. In the next lesson, I'll go one step further with the paid version of Fluid and teach you how to keep sites like Facebook and Google from tracking you.